You've got radiation poisoning. It's virtually incurable without the right equipment. <laughs> you are the infection with him, Walter Syed. Nathaniel doesn't want me dead, does he? I've got my orders. I let him die! I let him die! <laughs> I've had nothing but trouble since I took on that role. Role? What do you mean? I'm an actor. I know what the thing is and I know what you plan on doing. You make it sound like I am a bad person and that I'm doing a bad thing. If you ever need me, you'll know where to find me. Standing between you and the people of Waterside. It's no secret that Maximum King was a bad man, but he never killed as many people as you. We need to go now! We need to split up. Where do we even go? Waterside East. Just meet us at the train station and we'll just sort out everything from there. We need to split up too. Ruby. I no, we can't get distracted. But we need to talk about well, it. Now isn't the time. We can do this. I know. Thank you for your time, Mayor Robert. Not a problem. I just hope you and the others can stop with Daniel. Yeah. Nina! You're Ruby's friend. Fiona? Yes, something bad has happened. Any news? The group is still on the run, sir. Why didn't the search? Yes, sir. Any sign of Ruby? Oh, I've not heard anything. Who else might be in danger? My sister, Chloe. She helped us gain access to the remaining information on the hard drive. Oh, yeah, um, I might need that. Someone here. So, have you got anything? The lost files match those that appear to be on the memory stick, but uh, it's just going to take a moment. You need to get your sister to CFD. We need to trigger a state of emergency. I'm not sure how else we're going to stop them. He'll still have his friends at the criminal syndicate. But at least the innocents will understand the risk. There will be mass panic. But right now, I think there needs to be. Did anyone see you? No, no one's looking. Why? What's happening? I'm trying to outrun them, but we need to take the final step to stop cleaning industries. Do you remember that time when you thought me and Joanna were the bad guys and <laughs> you pointed that gun at us? <laughs> yeah. Funny how things work out. <laughs> Do you think there's anything that we could have done differently to stop this? I think. We should have stopped Nathaniel for good. Instead of leaving him to wallow and plan away. Every time we thought he was beaten, he's had something else up his sleeve. And the fear that if we're to finish this, he has to die. There's a big difference between dying and being killed, though. Nathaniel's killed so many people, but we're not like him. Mm. If we're to stop him, he can't live through this. I just wish he didn't have them powers. Oh my god. I think I know how to stop him. Hello? Hey Ruby, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm with Chloe. Um, I think I've figured out a way to stop Nathaniel, but I need your help to do it. But we've, we've triggered a state of emergency. Yeah, I think we need to go one better. Evacuate the city. Take away his control and Job is nothing. Evacuate? That's a big operation. I don't care, it needs to be done or innocent people are going to get hurt. Start the process and I'll meet you at the office. Ah, it's, it's all there. Um, look, uh, basically, Nathaniel has designed some sort of satellite, I think. It'll emit a wave of something radioactive that can cover the entire city. So it's unclear what type of radiation it is. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, there's a simulation on the drive that predicts the immobility of the test subject, both mentally and physically. Perhaps Nathaniel intends to give everyone powers. Yeah, but that's too simple. Like, the simulation shows that it would leave the person disabled rather than enabled. <laughs> Plus, with Nathaniel being as powerful as he is, why would he want any more competition? In the original King Industries database, 
The energy used to create people like Ruby only affected a particular type of age group. What do you mean? If the test subject was older, then of course he'd be affected differently. But only the children would have a positive result. So he's turning these children into superpower humans? Is that what you're saying? Why not? He'd have an army. It's Ruby. She's with Chloe. She says there's something on the telly for us to see. Just to confirm, a state of emergency has been issued by the Waterside Police Department. The Chief of Police has advised that Waterside is to be evacuated immediately. Nathaniel Job, CEO of King Industries, is yet to comment. What's happening now? The world's going to hell. This swift action was triggered by Mayor Roberts. After more startling evidence has come forward about Nathaniel Job, the first of which was made available to the public two years ago. The official reports from Mayor Roberts indicate the involvement of Nathaniel Job in the recent disappearances of several people, as well as the death of Jeremy Pierce. Other sources also point to the conditions that Maximum King was left in before his death. <clears throat> we both have to leave. Why? Do you think Nathaniel's going to back down that easily? He'll be here soon. Yeah, but Ruby's on her way. Even more reason to get out of here, the last thing we need is a bloodbath. I'm staying. <sighs> Someone else needs to have a go at this. I can't keep guessing everything here. Give me all the information you have and you two need to get out. We can help. With what? It's all building up and I don't want you to die. We'll be fine. This is your only chance to get out. It's going to be Nathaniel and Ruby. She needs our support, sure, but some of us need to live. Will you be coming with us? No. But we can fight Nathaniel too. No, you can't. There's nothing more that Julius can do and he won't leave without you, Katie. Oh, that just isn't fair. Do you know what is fair? Both of you getting out and living your lives together. Thank you. It's fine. Thank you, Joanna. Claire, why are you still have time? My appointment with Nathaniel is now. You ever used that before? It's the first time for everything. Give me the gun. I can handle this, you can't. It needs to be me. I'm not going anywhere. Go. Go! Thank you. For this. It's my duty. Ah, I see that I was expected. Naturally. Nina, we've spoken recently. You can't keep doing this. I'm looking out for the people. Oh, no you're not. You're looking out for your friends. And that, frankly, this behaviour cannot be tolerated. I'm sure. I run the city, not you. There is no city. 
Not anymore. Miss Grant. That's Detective Grant to you. Oh. Seems like you need re-educating yourself. <laughs> you are suspended. You're not in charge here. You're just a little boy having a tantrum because he can't have all the toys in the toy store. Detective Grant too, he's just too powerful. It's not much further now. I think we should stay. What? Look, you know what's the right thing to do. Katie, they gave us a way out. You know how dangerous Nathaniel is. Exactly. That's why we can't leave. Look, they've done so much for us and now we're just running away. We're not running. But we're escaping. To have a better life, together. What about the others? Everybody's getting out. Job's got superpowers for God's sake. The others, they want us to escape and I don't want... Look, you've done brilliantly. Duke, you'll be proud of you. It's now or never, Katie. I don't know. Listen to me. All I want is to be with you. We've done everything we need to and... You've left Waterside. Good. Any news from Detective Grant or Nina? They didn't make it. I don't want anyone else hurt. Not after today. What do you suggest? You should all leave. It's not safe and the buses won't wait forever. No way. You need some support, otherwise Nathaniel could kill you. I don't want to go anywhere. Not me neither. I'm not letting anyone else die for me. We've lost too many people already. Look, if anyone's gonna go, it has to be Chloe and Fiona. What? Why us? Hacking's not gonna cut it anymore, you both know that. And I'm confident you can get out of Waterside. And what if you don't return? I don't want anything to happen to you. I won't, I'll be all right. We don't know what Nathaniel's plan is. It could be anything. Not about that, Julius figured it out. There's a satellite on King Industries. It's gonna emit a shockwave through the city using the ether power base. Just like last time. What last time? Maximum King tried this once. It didn't go well for him. There's no question, this is going to affect the whole city. Well, good thing we evacuated then. But we can't take any chances with our lives. I don't want to go, Ruby. But Joanna would never forgive herself if you stayed and something happened. I suppose. A long time ago you said something to me. You said you didn't want to be involved out of fear of Joanna's life. Yeah, but I was stupid back then. No, you weren't. It came from a good place. And Joanna didn't want you involved either. You understand why now. Yeah. I will see you again, Chloe. I promise you. You'd better. I'll take care of Chloe. Thank you for everything. We've not got long. Be safe. You too. We need to get Nathaniel's attention. I can take care of that. Mr. Job, where are you? Um, I'm just out for a stroll. What's wrong? There are multiple terrorist attacks taking place throughout the city. The mayor's office has exploded and gunfire has begun to rage throughout Waterside East. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> These criminals are bound to take advantage of the free space in the city. They'll soon learn. Right. 
Which street do you want? I want to send a car to you. Who's responsible for this? Sir, I... Who is responsible? We suspect it is the same individuals who stole your power cell and hard drive. The power cell that we are trying to retrieve? Mr. Job, I must send a car to you. It is my job to ensure you are safe. You will find me a motorcycle. Sir, no, it's too dangerous, eh? Not long now. Greetings, Miss Student. What do you want? It is almost time. Nathaniel's reckoning. I'm going to stop him. By killing him? If I have to. That's not how karma works. <laughs> the last person I knew by the name Karma tried to kill me. Why should I trust you, let alone take your advice? Because I am Karma. I am non-self-serving. Karma is utterly fair. There's no bias here. You removed ah. Jeremy's eye. After what he did to Dance. An eye for an eye. That's how Karma works. You see, Nathaniel strives for dominance. You've succeeded in emptying the city, which means his political ambitions have come to an end. But his physical power remains, and it must not be allowed for further intimidation. I think... I think Nathaniel and I are connected in some way. I have every confidence in you, Miss Newton. Both you and Nathaniel do share the same power. Except he can't see the finer details. Mm. You can see the bigger picture. I'm sure you'll find an alternative solution. Where are you going? My work here is finished. The rest is down to you. die for you and now it is just you and I how it's always been wouldn't have it any other way and you know what at least I have people people who care whereas you you don't care about anyone you have no friends lashing out won't help solve your problems Every day. But then you must realise that our fight isn't of the physical, but of the intellectual. Alright, oh, or shall I bust out a crossword while we're at it then? Oh, you may mock. But even you must know that being evenly matched, we cannot outdo each other. Join me, Ruby. Just as I implored you before. I haven't changed my mind. Just as you haven't changed your attitude. I know what you're trying to do. You're wasting your time. Your pulse. What's it for then? I know Nathaniel. You remember what I told you back at the house? About how people had fallen to chaos. Your pulse. It'll affect people. It will unite people. It will bring order and it will lead people into a new direction. That's not being a leader, Nathaniel. That's being a dictator. It will unite waterside. We will rise above crime. And you know that's what people want. That's not freedom. And it's not your city.
I made it. Aoife? No. But how? If Jamie... Jamie was never connected to the ether, whereas I am. This is my ether. We're all connected, Ruby. Am I in a coma in the real world again? No. You've accessed here through Nathaniel. So we are connected. You gave him his powers. He gets his energy directly from you. So this could be the chance I need then? This could be how I stop Nathaniel without killing him. If you do that, you'd risk losing all your powers. <laughs> it's a risk I have to take, William. Where do I go? Your ether is here. Your strength, where you started to rebuild. Nathaniel's will be where he's at his most powerful. King Industries. But that's miles away. Not in the ether. All right. Ruby. Yeah? Good luck. Thanks. Goodbye, William. You won't stop me, Joanna. Stay where you are. I have a city to run. An empty city. Oh. I'll show you. The residents of Waterside will be returning to their homes. You know what you've done. They don't trust you anymore. No one's here. Don't be so sure. Hello? Little Ruby Newton. Not so little anymore. Who are you? Hi, I'm Maximum King. Job must be stopped at all costs. You're not the only one that thinks that. But how are you here? You were never connected to the ether. Much like Blaine, I had the toxins in my body. Toxins took longer to leave my body, but it was enough time for a connection to this realm. So that's why I can't see you? Quite. Job is near. He has played this city for 20 years. Job must be stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Your loyalty is admirable. My loyalty is to my friends. Yet your friends have abandoned you. They make you weak. Even Ruby. She'll stop you. <laughs> Will she? I'm near. Ruby. Hello? Is this some ghostly intervention? I don't have time for this. Not exactly. My name is Blaine. Blaine? As in Lucy's Blaine? <laughs> that I am. Nathaniel has become a madman. Once he was a friend, but his obsession with power has led him astray. Further than anyone should go. I know, but I don't know how to properly stop him. Stop him the same way I was. Which was? Power glitch. Much like myself, Nathaniel gained these abilities in adulthood. As you know, this is not the norm. They took control of me, became unstable, corrupted. The same must happen to him. So, you're saying if I can find the source of his power, it can be corrupted? Exactly. His source will be in a place of meaning to him, locked away. It won't be easy to access. Place of meaning? <coughs> You need to be taught disobedience. Everybody does. What the hell? Right, so this is happening. Guess it's just one of those days.
What have you done? <laughs> Ruby, I didn't want this. I just, I just wanted the recognition I deserved. Right. My parents. Gwen, Maximum King, they made me like this. Nathaniel, they didn't make you do the things that you've done. No, they didn't. I became some, I became someone else. This isn't me. I wanted you to believe me. My experiences that I went through, the people I lost. Gwen. Severed our connection to the ether, and his powers turned against him. He's really dead. You okay? They're gone. I'm normal. No. Finally. No, Ruby. You have endured more than anyone I've ever met. You're the strongest person I know. The evacuation buses are probably gone by now, aren't they? Yeah. Fancy a walk? Sure. I think we need one. I can't believe we did it. It's actually happened. We did it, Joanna. We saved the city. And it must stay that way. What's that? It's the remote for that satellite. But you want to use it? Well, we can't. We did all this to stop it. Think about it. Waterside has its own government outside of the United Kingdom. It can be easily manipulated. But what about people's lives, their homes? If anyone ever assumes control, we risk there being more Nathaniel Jobs, and we can't let that happen. Waterside must be put to rest, forever. We've done enough damage. So you want to do this together? It needs to be. And you're sure we're out of the blast zone? Definitely. I don't know, Ruby. This stays between us, Joanna. Always. <laughs> <laughs> 